the restaurant holds. And it's, um, it's a bit awkward really because uh, I do a lot of public speaking and I talk to a random number of people on a weekly basis, but uh, this is a little bit different. Perhaps because I did this for a couple of months now and that we've organized all of that and then to see so many of you coming out for tonight's event is uh, very good. I mean, it's, it's a little bit funny. So uh, thank you all for, uh, for being here. Uh, look, uh, for those uh, of you who haven't had the chance to talk to me, my name is Martin. Uh, I kind of started charity dining by accident. The little guys, okay. Uh, when talking to people, they realize very quickly that Honestly, nobody has an idea what anything is a journey. I've talked to guys about uh, a restaurant, they were like, There is a restaurant like this in Germany? Oh, I love this food. Where is it? Oh, okay. Nobody knows. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to do a very simple restaurant directory. Look, we don't want to be the other people that start the gazette, okay? We don't want no reviews, we don't want 50,000 views that are generated after the picture goes to the rubbish. Uh, no, I mean, we want something that people can go to and say, like, I would like to have this type of food, where can I get it in charity? Okay, let us keep it local and uh, tell people where they can find it, podium, lake level, park level, there you go, that's all what we wanted. It took off and then uh, this summer I was looking at the timeout and what's on the woods and such likes and I thought, like, hang on a second, uh, we can do this for charity, it can't be that difficult. Well, it turns out it's a little bit more difficult than, uh, you know, in this day editions, but uh, there you go. Uh, so, thanks again for uh, for coming along. I am not going to be the one who does most of the talking. That is uh, uh, Regan, who will uh, take over from me now. And, uh, yes, uh, take it away. Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you very much indeed. Good evening, everybody. Everybody okay? Great. Good. So before we get on with the actual awards, let's do a quick sample award the finger food you just had. The burgers? Yeah. Fish? Yeah. yeah. Alright. What about those um, steak, steak things? What about them? The little dips? Alright, on the way. Alright. Well, very good evening and welcome ladies and gentlemen. A bit of background on the JLT residents uh, for you and the uh, dwellers that live here. They eat out or order food in about five times a week, and that's, as you know, a lot of food. All prepared by passionate restaurateurs and their teams. That's you guys, right? JLT Dining believes that it's time to reward the passion, sweat and efforts put in by these restaurants, many of which are family owned, and let them get the recognition that they actually deserve. That's why they have come up with the very first ever JLT Restaurant Awards. Make it a pop. Of course, we are always curious to see which restaurants are the most popular, of course, amongst the uh, JLTians. I've got here. JLTians? Is that what you pronounce it? JLTians? The residents, the office workers, and the visitors to JLT. Jumeirah Lake Towers is a home to over 250 restaurants. I didn't realise that. That's a lot. And it's fast becoming a recognised foodie and dining hub here in Dubai. JLT Dining was established just over a year ago. And as an online directory, directory for restaurants, bars and cafes here in JLT. We want to make it easier for the over 60,000 residents and visitors to find what's cooking and where the latest restaurants are opening up. We also want to give the restaurants in our neighbourhood a helping hand and as much publicity as possible. So take all your photographs, don't forget Instagram. Hashtag, what is the hashtag? JLT Dining 2017? No, JLT Dining Awards 2017. Are you taking the pictures? Are you posting already? Make sure you do. Online voting for the JLT Dining Awards was launched on the 1st of October and they've received 8,000 public votes during the month, let's mention that. Look. Following the public voting, the expert judging panel scrutinised the top ranked outlets in all categories and finalised the shortlist. The judges looked at guest reviews, food, and service quality, creativity, 
and the soundness of the concepts. And other factors before coming up with the winning and runner-ups for all categories. The judging panel consists of Martin, who met us on one few moments ago, he's the CEO of SPS Affinity and the inventor of JLT Dining and the JLT Restaurant Awards. He's a seasoned hotelier and marketer in hospitality, leisure and tourism consultant. He has lived in Dubai since 2004 and worked in and around the JLT since 2007. When was the JLT actually opened? About there. About there, so it's kind of from the beginning. Martin was joined by Andres Mensch, the executive chef of the Sofitel Dubai Jumeirah Beach. Andres' culinary artistry consistently draws crowds to the hotel's restaurants and to the hotel's Friday brunch, Le Grand. Anybody visited Le Grand? I'm sure one or two of you have. He has a very loyal following. The third judge, Samantha Wood, better known as Food Diva, is a publisher of the impartial multi-award winning restaurant review, Food Diva, and the creator of the popular mystery, Dine Around Dubai, hashtag Dine Around Dubai. Samantha has lived in Dubai for over 18 years and is also a writer, a food and beverage, digital consultant and a speaker. Is she here tonight? No. No? Well, hello, Samantha, wherever you are. The public search across the JLT Dining Facebook, Instagram and Twitter pages for a JLT resident to join the ranks of the JLT Restaurant Awards judges yielded a large number of applicants. In the end, we selected Richard Stratton, who's perhaps better known to many as a voice of Remix Rich on Dubai 92. Is, is Remix Rich here? No. He's on the radio. Like He's on the radio, of course. He's a long-time JLT resident and unbeknownst to many, used to be a professional chef, I didn't know that, with a string of successful restaurants launched under his belt. So, before we get started with the ceremony, I've got a few more notices in case things get a little bit too hot the fire breaks out. So we're going to tell you where the emergency exits are, and I do believe it's just down that staircase. Is that right? With the staff, we can check, and after that door there you can see. Just in case you need to know where they are. The restrooms, again, are down that staircase and through those doors there. Down by the gym, if anybody wants to work out, and there's a jacuzzi there as well. So an event like the JLT Restaurant Awards could not take place without the help of dedicated and professional sponsors and the partners who would like to thank the following companies and organisations. So official PR partner, SPS, public relations. Official media partner, Food Shake Media. Are you here? Yeah, I think I Let's give a round of applause. Official Sony and social media partner, SPS Digital. You are an And here's a serious bit. The official legal partner, Bird and Bird. Let's start off with the platinum sponsors. Public Cafe, Anchor Trading, and Roma, Ingen, or something like DNA One Films. Gold sponsors, Pitfire Pizza Dubai, Blossom Tree Flower Shop JLT. Is that you guys? No? Get a little smile on your face, I'll have a look here. Silver sponsors, The Localizer, Food Diva, Liquid of Life, over there, Metallic Coffee, Indo Indo Seafood and Grill, Wolf of Friends Lounge, and service excellence. <laughs> Lastly, if you haven't put your business card in the raffle ball, now's your last chance. Have you all done that? This is for the raffles at the end. I put my card in, so if I do win, it's not fixed. Honestly, it's not. Fixed. All right, so we're going to start with the wholly contested section, the best American-style pizza. The finalists are, I just want to make sure they're on the screen behind me, Pit Fire Pizza. Wolf and 
Friends Lounge. And Shake and Shake. That's such a good name. All right, so we're gonna go with the runner-up, first of all. Ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up is... Wolf and Friends. Please do enjoy it. Can you stand there, sir? And what does do the cries there, just for the photographs? Handshake, please. Smile to the camera. Congratulations, big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've got some fun in the And the winner is... Best American style pizza goes to Big Red Pizza! One more big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, flowers don't wear them. Okay. It's a lot of ladies and gentlemen. Next up, a uh, almost popular section. This is the best bar. And the finalists are Nola. Clearly, French Pistol Bar. And the Gets Against DLT. So, hold on before you uh, click it across. Wait for the build up. The runner up is. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now, the winner of the best cafe in JLT is... Own Cafe! So now another popular curry category is the best Chinese. The finalists are Wokyu Noodle Bar, Yummy Hot Pot, and Blue Sapphire. The runner-up is Wokyu Noodle Bar. Congratulations, guys. And the winner of the best Chinese category is Blue Sapphire. So the best European restaurant category has been split into two sections. Firstly, we have the best European license section. And the finalists for the best European license section are Le Petit Beige, Coupe French Bistro en Val, and Metos. The runner up, ladies and gentlemen, is Metos. There we go. Big congratulations. Photographs, please. And we would like to welcome Chef Thomas Gregor to present the award. Welcome, Thomas. So the finalists are Pizarro, Cafe Confetti, and Robbie's The Hellenic House. The runner up is Pizarro. We are representative here. That restaurant tonight. So the winner is Lobby's the Hellenic House. So today we are all conscious about what we eat and healthy food. The best healthy restaurant award finalists are Mambo Gome, Mambo Gome Pizza, sorry, it's on a separate line, Wolf and Friends Lounge, and Riches. And the runner up is Mambo Gome Pizza. Nobody here from them tonight? Okay, so the winner of this category is Riches. Congratulations. So moving on to another favourite, the best Italian style pizza. We would like to welcome Ashley from Food Shake Media to present this award. The finalists are Pitfire Pizza, Mambo Gourmet Pizza, and Pizarro. And the runner up, ladies and gentlemen, is Pitfire Pizza. Thank you very much. And the winner of best Italian style pizza goes to Mambo Gomoe Pizza. Are they here tonight? 
So I'm wasting no time. We move ahead to the once coveted category, the best Middle Eastern restaurant. This category has been sponsored by Anko Trading and a Roman Indian, Asmati Rice, and I would like to ask another representative, or the same one, of Anko Trading to join us to present us with the awards. Thank you. Big round of applause one more time. So the finalists are something baked. Own Cafe and Bates Mayor. The runner up is Own Cafe. <laughs> and the winner of the best Middle Eastern restaurant category is Bates Mayor. Next we have a varied category which was created to cover the multitude of cuisines that didn't fit into any of the other boxes. The best other category, that's what we're going to call it. The finalists are Ayubal, Little Lahore and Wolf and Friends Lounge. So the best other category, runner up, is Wolf and Friends Lounge. Other category, it is Are You Born? Is that the correct pronunciation, sir? Is that, is that working for you? Are You Born? You think? Yeah? So, of course, whenever, whenever we dine, Service is very important. So our next category is best service. And we would like to invite Sophie Picard Zeeton from Service Excellence to present this award. Thanks, Sophie. The finalists are we're getting to get to JLT, La Cantina Cafe and Restaurant, and again Ayu Bolin. The runner-up is Ayu Bolin. No apologize. Ayu Bolin again, sir. And the winner is La Cantina Cafe. Congratulations. <laughs> now you get your award. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the pictures we've got the one with. <laughs> Congratulations. We might get you back. We're on standby. Thank you very much. So it's time to look at the best Southeast Asian restaurants. The finalists are Wok Your Noodle Bar, Indu Undu Seafood and Grill, and Better Way Cafe. And the runner up is Wok Your Noodle Bar. And the best South Asian restaurant winner is Betawe Cafe. <laughs> Thank you very much. So who doesn't love a good bit of street food? A popular category with everyone. The finalists are, again, Walk Your Noodle Bar, Rossi Junction, and Are You Boeing? The runner up is Walk Your Noodle Bar. Ladies and gentlemen, our final award in the public voting category 
is one that we are sure we all want to know. It's the best sweet tooth award. The finalists are El Dolcino, the K Club, and La Cantina. The runner up is El Dolcino. And for the best sweet tooth category, the winner is the K Club. Hello. There we go, taking the top prize, making no bones about it. The K Club, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. We are now moving on to the final three awards of the evening, which are not publicly voted but are judged and awarded by our team of expert judges. There was no shortage for these categories, so we will go straight into the action. First up, most unique concept. So here, the judges looked at concepts that are unique to JLT and cannot be found in the same manner anywhere else in Dubai. They also looked at restaurants that provide an environment that seamlessly gels with the food and with the service offered. The runner-up is Cafe Funky Town. And the winner is Bake Bellion. Next is the best new restaurant. To qualify restaurants, must have opened within the last 12 to 18 months. And the runner up is Wolf and Friends Lounge. And the winner is Le Petit Belge. Now for the final and most anticipated award of the evening, the best JLT restaurant overall. The runner-up is Mitos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the winner tonight of the best JLT restaurant overall. Is Bates Mayan. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not here tonight, but listen, I want to say a big congratulations to all our winners and to everybody here tonight. Give yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> We'd especially like to thank all our sponsors and judges. And of course, you guys, the amazing JLT diners. We would also like to thank Mohammed, the Bonington's uh, food and beverage manager. Mohammed, are you there? Yeah. Big fan of Paul's Come on. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hello, you everybody. Some Give me some flowers. Yeah. There you go. All right. Is anybody ready for a drink yet? Don't disappear to the bar just yet, we just want to do one more thing. We've got the, the raffle to do, the business card raffle. Did you all put your uh, cards in there for the business uh, card raffle in the fishbowl? Let's just move it to the side over here a little bit. Let's move over there a little bit. Any last minute, uh, you have one to All right, so we've got a few prizes to give you. The first draw is for two main courses in indoor, indoor seafood and grill, or the Tawi Cafe, so they have a choice of where they go. And the winner is... Did you read that? Oh, it's Mohammed Dawood. Good here, congratulations. Well, there you go.
this is going to draw is for a 150 dirhams voucher for own cafe. And the winner is. Digging deep now, digging deep. No more staff members. Come on. 150 dirhams is. It's Roxana! <laughs> no, it's not about Roxana, it's another one. It's Roxana, RL from Google. My business cards are really big text. <laughs> you should have brought the glasses. The next draw is for dinner for four, up to the value of 200 dirhams. Is that each or is that all four people? All four people, all right, so it starters. So the dinner for four for 200 dirhams at Pitfire, oh, it's Pitfire Pizza, do I? The winner is. <laughs> I'll say it fast, you guys get it wrong. It's from Anko Trading, and it is Rakuma. I was going to take that. I want to jump. Okay, right, next up, our oh, final draw. Now, this is a good one. Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen. What a sneeze. Our final draw is for an under the sink water filtration solution from a liquid of life. Let's get that a big round of applause. It's worth over 900 dirhams. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, is... Faye Economic... Can you speak any this? Faye, come on, if you work for a company called M, Faye, are you here? She's coming. Yeah! Yes, yes, yes. Economic leaders. That's what I said. It's my nose, eh? Greek. Thank you very much, and thank you, Roxanne, for that great prize. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Can we, uh, before you all disappear, can we just have the winners back up one more time for a, a group photograph, please? All the winner ops and all the all the winners as well. I'll just hold the. Uh, Let's just, um, let's just do this first. So can we just, before we go any further, all the winners and runner-ups, please. Just to finish us off, all the winners and runner-ups, so you can join us. I think it's brilliant to be welcomed in GLT with the Best Newcomer Award. After six months of opening and having such support from the neighborhood and having 60,000 people around us, this will really boost us and keep us motivated, not only for me, but for the chef and the team and the people behind Liberty Bells. This is an amazing award to win and we're very pleased to have won it. Hey, I'm Zach from Working On The Bar. I'm a partner with it and I'm very excited to win all these awards thanks to all our fans and all our noodle fans and all my staff and my beautiful wife and most biggest credit also goes to Mr. Martin Kobler uh, to organize uh, this fantastic event to promote it's such a beautiful platform we have that is JLT it needs more recognition again thank you Martin for making this possible for us to have a good platform and good recognition thank you uh, great winning the runner-up for the North Indian category uh, feels like you know a recognition of all the efforts I put in in the past three years and thank you JLT Dining for coming up with this for creating the recognition for us restaurants in JLT sometimes we're not that well known so thank you felt great